Hello and welcome. It is uh, currently near 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and it's the 30th day of March 2021. My name is Eric, and this is the Money Charts channel. All bets, trades, amongst the like, well, each his own risk and their own reward. 24 even. Now at 23.999. Price is silver. Of course, I see the 999. That's the type of silver that I like to have, of course. And the real physical, there's the three nines there. But we've had an interesting day with price action going down about two and two thirds percent. Going to levels not seen really since uh, middle of December of last year, so all year, yearly lows for sure. It's still in the sideways consolidation. It entered it like July 21st, so th three quarters of the year we've been in this range between like 21 low change to about 30. We're still a little bit, I mean, we're at 24 now, so it's still room to go to. But that's the next level of support, I would presume, looking at this. Then you got the 20 even number. I got multiple other Fibonacci's. This is just one of them. For this one here, it's a 23.6% down from this high of this low. We've had a lot of tests within this. And even in here, this is September like 21st, breaking out like December like 11th, 12th, 13th area. So pretty much a full season congesting before. Attempting to get this thing going, nice little breakout to the side, and this major failed breakout here on February the 2nd. So we managed to get it to the upper end of the previous range, and that's all it's been, is a range-bound market. It's going to break the range to one side or the other. It has to. So if it gets above 30, well, you look to go 40, 50 as next level resistance. And if it breaks down below about 22, I'm thinking 20 even. I got Fibonacci at 2086 here, but it's going to probably pierce the extra 20 is like an even number, all that type of stuff. But for now, we're at a level of support. We'll see how it acts. Resistance area, well, this area of the congestion support here, we're at, I don't know, 25 up to 25 high change, but even the whole 25 area is now resistance for me. If it gets above it, we have to get above this 18 average of highs and stuff like this anyway to start for me to say, okay, maybe there's a chance it can get this thing going. But even if it does get to like the 26 change area, well, maybe it's a chance it's the upper end of the range. And then from there, it's got to break that to break at resistance. But just like here, it's got to, if this thing doesn't break through, there's going to be more support. I'm looking at low 22 area. And then if that, of course, breaking down below that range, I expect a concise move down to again 20. Gold down to uh, 1685 US. It was over 2000 for a short period of time. Still, as it looks in the monthly, it's holding and staying above this major, major level of resistance. But it's also, I mean, this is back to like April of last year, so pretty much a full year of holding and staying above 1687. Just mad whatever movements. But we've been seeing over the last many months what Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have been doing is going sky high fly. Well, this gives people, myself included, an opportunity to acquire these uh, assets. These assets, of course, being physical gold and silver at cheaper and cheaper prices every time as the price of gold doesn't go up. And now, of course, it's been going down a little bit and cryptos like Bitcoin go up. That means you need less and less Bitcoin to buy the gold and silver you want, or you get more and more for the amount of cryptos that you would be using. The ratio for Bitcoin to gold right now is about 35 to 1. That means you need 35 ounces of gold-ish to buy about one Bitcoin. Back in... Uh, some previous time frames, like at the start of the earlier in the year, it was like 16, 17. And then going back, as I'm mentioning, like, oh, April of last year, as I was referring to, April of last year, we see like four. So if you were just going and say, yeah, I'm going to, whether it's gold or silver, I'm just going to buy Bitcoin, even any other cryptocurrencies, and I'm just going to hold it, even trade the market, whatever, and then maybe get some gold and silver. Well, if I was maybe planning on buying a couple ounces of gold and maybe 100 ounces of silver or something, 
Well, maybe it's now over a thousand ounces of silver and many more than two ounces of gold. Because, of course, well, ratios like this. And like, I can remember the hype way back when in 2017 when the ratio was one to one. As we can see, as it was just getting past it, like, oh my, oh my goodness, it's the same. But Bitcoin and gold had the same price. It might be around 13 or 1400 at the time. So it's, and right now there's still no signs of this, uh, this not stop going up, or this should still continue higher from the looks of it. How, how this will react moving forward will be very interesting. Because I do believe that for a long time, final prices, if you will, final price of gold versus a dollar, silver versus a dollar, what was the final home prices, and even the final Bitcoin, all these prices now, meaning other assets that will survive longer than the dollar. There's a day coming where the dollars aren't traded anymore. They're just pretty much hyperinflate to nothing. I'm not saying that will happen, but I think a chance it might. Then we'll be looking at Bitcoin versus gold as something that would be a very primary tracing. And in situations like this, what there will be is a significant move going down or gold overperforming Bitcoin at a significant rate or a significant amount. But what will the high be when it, when this happens? Will it be 40, 50, 500, 2,000, 20,000? Kind of sarcastic at 20,000, but the way the volatility is, I don't know what to say for highest price objective. And then after that, what would be the uh, objective for how low it goes? So time again will be the, uh, what will tell within it. But anyone who's been using these measures, Bitcoin, to get gold and silver, it's paid off. And I, I also look at gold as, and silver, a lot of it is, it is good form of savings. I've said this so many times about putting whatever in a safe. I mean, there's no guarantee Bitcoin is going to survive over the next 5, 10, 20 years. At least for me, there isn't. I know for sure what the gold and silver is as far as uh, physical metal atom on the atomic table. The work required to create uh, such a commodity. And gold store of value and I believe silver is too but silver is an amazing raw material and even gold it's the raw material as well as gold is used so many different forms but you take a $20 bill and a $100 bill what kind of raw material value do you have out of that anyway thank you for tuning in have yourself a great day bye bye